Surrounded by piles of garbage and discarded produce, the cable was still lying in muddy puddles, which helped spread the high voltage current. Hours after the deadly collapse, residents were torn between grief and anger. Many felt the tragedy could have been avoided. Construction regulations were not respected. This area should be empty. We were already talking about it before the incident. We were fearing the worst, and the worst happened. Town planning regulations in the DRC forbid any constructions in a 30-meter radius around these high-voltage pylons. But the law is rarely enforced, and in the Matadi Kibala open-air market, stalls and informal settlements have cropped up all around the ominous metal towers. Piles of discarded trash also regularly clog the neighborhood's drainage system, causing frequent flooding. Congolese authorities opened an investigation into Wednesday's incident and vowed to take measures to make the area more secure. We will move the market indoors and take steps to evacuate the population living near this high voltage line. The DRC's national electricity provider said the power line's collapse was caused by a thunderstorm, but many residents also pointed to the poor maintenance of electrical cables and blamed local authorities for repeatedly ignoring their warnings.